Um, this is an original trailer that we had, but we updated it with actual um, uh, actual screen shots. So. After a much needed 30 year vacation, Mule returns. Return to Planet Irata once more and demonstrate your resource management and trading prowess while helping to build your colony. Comerate Studios, with license from Ozark Softscape, is faithfully remaking the iconic classic for the mobile platform. Mule Returns lets you take your mule anywhere on your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. I have uh, my iPad here if anyone wants to play around and see what it's like. The other thing I'll mention uh, before I forget is I did bring um, five promo codes, so for five copies of the game, and they're in the, uh, uh, in the raffle. All right, so November 25th, uh, we launched. This was an interesting experience. Um, so good things on Touch Arcade. We, we got to number one on their hot games. Uh, lasted there for about a day, which was lovely and sort of, you know, our way down. All these things are relatively short-lived, but Touch Arcade is a big title, millions of views a month, so that was a good thing. Uh, we were on Apple's featured list in uh, Best New Games. It's right, right here. <laughs> uh, that was very exciting. That's a very difficult thing to do, so we're happy about that. And uh, for any of those who have been following us on Facebook, uh, we got our ad up on in Times Square as well on a, on a 40-foot screen, so that was, uh, that was good. That was the, that was the big launch. Um, as with uh, as with anything that's public, this is the part you have to deal with. So overall, we have uh, four stars, but then you have this, right? And this is this is one of those things. You produce a piece of work, you put it out there, and and you attempt, you hope that people like it, and you hope that you can please everybody. But um, you get this, right? You get you get both both yeah you get both ends of the spectrum, and and. I think that's. I think out of everything, this is the hardest thing to deal with, right? Because you know, this is your baby. You've worked on this. You you know it's flaws. You know where it's ugly, but you also you know you put a lot of work into it. So, um, so it's funny how uh, how, how this stuff kind of kind of goes through. But again, this is just this is part of the process. I don't think there's anything you can produce, whether it's art or anything else, put it out there and and uh, not expect criticism. So you got to take you got to take both. So this has been interesting. Obviously, we we, we reply to everyone who writes us. Uh, we are iterating on the game. It's an interesting thing on the iOS now because uh, it really is almost like games as a service because the games update, right? You continue to produce updates. And it's interesting the feedback that we get. I mean, you, you do get the, the people like Anon7899 there. Um, but there's also others who, who say, this is good, I can't wait for the next update. So they're just, they, they know that there's going to be things coming out and they're just along for the ride, which is, which is an interesting concept and, and good for a developer because you know you, then you do get to iterate, you do get to build that feedback and things that we thought were cool that people hate and, and, and vice versa. Um, what we're learning, uh, it's hard to pre please both legacy and new players. It's, you, know, you have those who know Mule, who play it, and will tell you uh, it's great except for these three things. Like, so I thought I knew Mule after you know, spending hours in the old C64 code and playing it for, for three months straight, day in and out, and there's still things I missed. Um, did, did you, who's, who's a mule player here? That we know, that we know. Okay. Did you know you can sell a mule back to the store? Mm-hmm. You did? Yeah. I should have asked you that. I didn't know that. You can sell a mule back to the store. I didn't know. We didn't have that in there. But you can put it back in the store and actually get a refund. I didn't know. Um, did you know about, what was the other one? Oh yeah, pirates in tournament level only take Christite. That. And then collusion. You guys know about collusion in multiplayer? Yeah, this is all brand new. So in multiplayer, you know how you, your characters would come down to the line to trade. If both of you hit your joystick button at the same time, you would trade to each other only, irrespective of who else was trying to trade with you. So you could actually cheat by trading amongst yourselves only. So we're going to build that into our um, multiplayer, where you can where you can selectively trade with only other players. So anyway, things we didn't know that the community is very nice to tell us. Um, 
new players are a little bit different. I think new players to the game uh, are, to my second point, you know, patience and attention spans aren't what they used to be. Uh, me included, uh, you know, there's, there's just, and, and I've seen it, you know, the new player will pick up the game. I don't get it. <laughs> it's just, it isn't what it used to be. So you have to, you have to walk them through a little bit more. So, you know, at some point we'll put in a, a new series of tutorials that'll, that's going to be, uh, uh, I guess, a little bit more goof proof. That'll be more specific about, you know, w you know, with the drawing of the finger, you use your finger, do this on the screen. Uh, hope that'll help. Um, other learning, uh, entertainment content carries very high expectations. And it's funny because I don't think this is about money. Even though some people, our game's $4.99 because we're an indie developer and, and you know, that, that food, puts food on the table. Um, but it isn't about the $5, uh, even though people will complain about the $5. And they'll say, boy, I wish I had spent my $5 on a, on a small Starbucks coffee. But, <laughs> What it really is, it's about opportunity cost, right? It's mostly about the fact that you know you invested time in this and it didn't pan out. That's the that's the that's the biggest thing that that uh, people are commenting about. So uh, the high expectation is that this will entertain me. You know, uh, I'm going to sit back here, you will entertain me, and I will judge you on how well you entertain me. And I, and I think that's fair because they could be playing a console, they could be going to the movies, uh, they could be watching ASCII porn. Like it's it's. Uh, could be anything. Um, still lots of small screens. This is an interesting one. You guys can see that. Um, I would have thought that people who play games on their iOS devices will play it on iPads. Um, that's not the case. Uh, roughly 50% of all of our downloads and, and gameplays are on small screen devices. So that's, an I, that's one of the iPhones or iPod devices. So. It, we didn't think this was going to be the case. We really did think that it was going to be the other way around. It was going to be maybe a 60-40 at worst uh, on big screen devices. Um, and you know, our, our takeaway from this and the fixes we're making in the, in the releases coming up is making it more small device friendly. Because for people who have fat fingers, uh, on a small screen, you just have to, you have to be very careful. I don't know if you noticed on, on some of the screens, you don't even have to touch it for it to necessarily register your finger. So uh, we're putting in a lot more in terms of announcements. Right? You just touch the screen um, so that you know what, what's happening. So that was that was a learning and we're, we're adapting to that. Um, what's next? So we're looking for creative solutions to multiplayer. Uh, this is a mobile this is a mobile game so it has to be it has to work for um, any device that's on 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, or, or anything else, right? So how do you make that work? Also, your, um, you may drop your connection at any point in time. So how do you, you have to work all of those scenarios in to the game. You may get a phone call on your phone while you're playing your game. You have to work that into it. So this has become a very complicated thing, which is why we released a single player first, because this, this is, uh, we actually have the multiplayer built, and we're just finding that it's, it's just, it's not smooth enough to be able to, to release. So we think we have a, so a creative solution to be able to do this um, uh, this multiplayer, and it's what we'll, we're, we'll call it sort of the eBay approach, right? Where you get where you sort of set your parameters, you enter an auction, and then you have the opportunity to update your parameters. So we'll see how that works. Um, so yeah, that's the game was essentially based on the assumption that you had four joysticks plugged into one machine. This isn't the case anymore, so we need to tweak it. So that's uh, that's what's next for us. That's what I have for you today, guys. That's that's my update. Hopefully next year, uh, a, a different update of sorts. Any questions? Anything else? Yeah. Can you tell us anything about Android development? <laughs> yes. So we developed this game in, believe it or not, in, in uh, C++ um, with the idea of it being portable. So uh, the game is actually quite. A, so you can compile to an, an Android device. So we're fairly far on that. I'd say we're 70-80% done. The problem with Android now is there's thousands of devices, so we have to now go through a long and painful process of making sure it works on small screen, big screen, this type of processor, that type of graphics card. And, so and how, much, how much of that uh, Apple usage data sways the Android development? Does it? Does it? No. We're, we were going to build it anyway, and we were going to build it. For a tablet? Like uh, yes, we'll do both. We'll do the same thing. It'll be both tablet and, and uh, small screen. But to your point, we'll probably start with testing on small screen yeah. first to make sure that works, and then start start with the other ones after. But yeah, absolutely.
apps absolutely were there. We're also thinking about desktop, so if all goes well, uh, we'll look at OS X and PC as well. Once we have an Android build, build ready, it can also work on uh, OEM as well, if we want to go down that path. So or maybe Steambox, maybe? Or maybe Steambox, yeah, well, that, that, that could be a more difficult application process. But, uh, mm -hmm. but yes, we'd love to. We'd love yeah. to be on there. So we'll, we'll chase those as they come. Yeah. Are there any plans for a SID chip version of the cell chart? Yes. Yeah. Next, uh, next update, we'll have one. It'll be a, it's a, it'll be a C Commodore version, because I'm biased that way. We were talking about this before, the Atari version, the Atari 800 XL version is a little bit different, I didn't know this, but so Rob's famous here, Rob uh, has a, uh, put together a song for us that made it into the game, which was fantastic, rated number one by all of our users, um, and as Rob was telling you, the Atari version had four voices, right, Commodore had three voices, so, uh, so yes, we're going to put a SID chip version in the next one, so we're going to try to release it before Christmas, but Apple has a huge backlog around the holidays, so they need they, they, it's funny, they review the game in about 24 hours. Once they get to the game, they can check it until you break it's approved in 24 hours. But it can take them up to two weeks to get to looking at your game before the holidays. We'll see. If it's two weeks, we'll get it in. If it's three weeks, it'll be in New Year's Eve. Other questions? Yeah. Uh, thank you for the uh, rental crisis. Uh, could you say a word or two about what's in it? Uh, it's a download. Yeah, so it's a, uh, so what's in the raffle prizes are uh, redeem codes. Um, so essentially, for those of you who are familiar with redeem codes, you go to the app store, you scroll to the very bottom, there's a redeem, redeem code button. Press that, type in the code that's in the envelope, and you get a free download of the game, and then obviously any updates that, that follow. So, uh, and obviously that's like on any iOS device, that'll work on all of your devices. So you download it once, and then you can take it to all your devices from there. So, uh, so yeah, so there's five of those in there. I look forward to, and yeah, any feedback you guys have, comments, please let me know. This is how we make the game better. Yeah. All right. Thank you all. Appreciate being here.